Hi everyone, in this video I'll be talking about my experience with this majestic contraption by DW called DW CP9909, which stands for I have no idea what. So I've had this thing for a while now, using it mostly with my 15 by 13 inches Yamaha Maple Custom Tom Tom Tom, which you will see shortly in the next part of this presentation. I'm not going to do the whole, I give this product 7.283 out of 11, because that would be silly, right? But I will quickly tell you what I do and don't like about it. So let's start with the good and I'll touch on the ugly later. I do like how flexible this thing is in terms of adjusting it to suit quite a range of different shapes and sizes with the forearms being adjustable in virtually any direction. I've even seen a video on YouTube of someone using one of those water cooler, huge plastic water bottles placed on top of the DW lifter. And I imagine I could probably adjust it to fit a small eight inches Tom. Well, now I guess I'm gonna have to prove that, right? Okay, let's see. The other thing I like is that you don't need to modify the drum in any way. No drilling hole, no attaching attachments, nothing. Just place the drum on top of this thing and it's ready to go. Moving on to the concerns and disadvantages territory now. My immediate thought after seeing photos of this contraption online for the first time was how steady the drum is going to be on top of it. I imagine that if the shell is just resting freely on top of these arms, it will surely start moving away from the drummer under the bitter pressure. So instinctively, I place these forearms against the drum hoops resting on the tuning lugs. And this is the result. But until now, I haven't actually tested what would happen if I do place the shell freely on top of these arms without locking them against anything. And here's the result of that experiment. So yeah, that gives you an idea of how well adjusted the cradle needs to be in order to function properly. And that leads me to what I would consider the least impressive aspect of using this, and that's the time it takes to adjust it to a new shape. I tend to be quite pedantic with these things, trying to align everything perfectly, making sure it's all symmetrical and all that. But 
even for a less OCD infected person, I imagine adjusting this to a new shape would take an amount of time which I wouldn't recommend leaving till just before the gig when you're ready on the stage, often under pressure, rushing to get ready. You could probably position these arms where you want them beforehand and maybe mark these markings here so you can fold it this way and transport it like that and unfold it back later. But overall, I would say the speed of setting this thing up is just something to take into consideration. I guess that's the price you pay for its flexibility, so no complaints here, really. I would say if you're going to only adjust it ever so often, it's probably not a major drawback. Plus, I haven't come across any alternative product that is this flexible. If you, however, know that you will only ever going to use one of your toms as a bass drum, there are other products on the market that may be more suitable such as this relatively well-known Pearl Floor Tom to Bass Drum Adapter Kit is the name. And it works great with the only limitation I can think of that your drum needs to have these brackets to insert the legs. My 16 inches Tom, for example, does have them, but the 15 doesn't. That would be all for now. Hope this was helpful one way or another and I'll see you next time. Take care.